Hi guys, I'm Aaron Suzade and welcome to my vlog. So for today's vlog, I'm going to address the questions that you have sent me through Facebook. So I'm going to answer them all at once. This will be about um, me, um, my med school journey, how I entered med school, and some things about my um, uh, myself. So just please bear with me because I'm just a newbie for this vlogging thing. For the first question, um, I've seen this in the comment section asking where is um, MSU Com. So MSU Com is actually one of the colleges of the Mindanao State University main campus and that is in Marawi City. So uh, a common misconception that MSU Com or College of Medicine is part of the Elegant Institute of Technology. However, the truth there is MSU Com is a part of the main campus but only situated in Iligan City. So one question I received from Maiden Worth Chrysostomo is how many years now of a giving doctor? Actually many are also asking the same question. So basically you need to have four years of undergraduate course. So this is your pre-med and after that if you'll be accepted in a medical school then you'll be having another four years of study. So in that four years, you'll have three years in a classroom setting. Then the last year in medical school is what we call senior clerkship. So that is the time that you are going to rotate in the hospital. So that is your first time to be exposed in hospitals and do um, and improve your clinical skills. Then after that, you graduate. So just like me, um, I, I just graduated from a med medical school. Then, after that, you will be required to have your postgraduate internship. So this is required before you can get or you can take the physician licensure exam. Then, after that, um, you'll become a doctor. So basically, there's four years in college, four years in medical school, plus one year of postgraduate internship. So it will take you about nine years to become a doctor. The next question is, how did I enter MSU College of Medicine? You need to know that there is a different administration now in the college and there are changes in the, in the application guidelines. And because of this pandemic also, um, there are some modifications in the application process. However, I'm still going to relate to you my own personal experience during my application so that you will have an idea for when you are going to apply. Back when I was in college, I was already bent on pursuing medicine, even though we can't afford it. So I went searching on the medical schools that are affordable. Then came along Mindanao State University College of Medicine. So from, um, from Banga, South Cotabato, I went to Iligan City to submit all the needed documents for my application. Then after submitting my documents, I waited for a text message from the College of Medicine um, for the schedule of my interview. On the day of the interview, I was interviewed by three doctors. They are on separate rooms. So the common questions were, why do you want to become a doctor? What are your strengths and weaknesses? What are your study habits? So basically, um, this is your time to impress the doctors. Because as you may know, the application process in MSUCOM is very competitive. There is only a limited number of students being admitted every year. In fact, during our time, there were um, about 200 applicants and only 72 of us were admitted. One advice that I can give you during your interview process as aspiring medical students is just to be yourself. And of course, do a little bit of reading because there are some doctors who will be asking some medical related questions. So for more information about the application of Mindanao State University College of Medicine, I'll put the link down below for the MSU College of Medicine Student Council page. Another question is what is the best pre-med course? For me, there is no one best pre-med course because when you get to medicine, you will all go back to zero. Although there are pre-med courses that will give you an advantage, however, in med school, what you really need is your good study habit and a lot of discipline. A question from Al M. Ispiel about the scholarship programs available in medical schools. So as for my part, I am a scholar of the Department of Health. 
under the Doctors to the Barrio program. So the scholarship covers for my tuition fee, my living allowance, my book allowance, uniform, and even the fees for my field health. In return, after I will get my license as a medical doctor, I will work as a doctor to the barrio to far-flung areas in Minsapala. Another question that I've read in the comment section is how much is the tuition in MSU College of Medicine? Well, we are paying 12100 per semester. And if you are a DTTV scholar or a CHED scholar, you will only be paying 100 pesos. Yes, you heard that right. Only 100 pesos. So I guess that's it for today's vlog. I hope I have answered all of the most important questions regarding medical school. As a parting message to those who aspire of becoming medical doctor yet limited with financial constraints, remember this. Poverty is never a hindrance. I am an example of that. I came from a poor family, yet with their support and my perseverance, I was able to graduate and earn the degree of Doctor of Medicine. So if you have any other questions or if you have suggestions of what I'm going to do on my next vlog, just comment them down below. So that's it. Bye guys! Don't forget to like and subscribe.